All right, so this is just gonna be a quick video on how to change the speakers of this 13 inch MacBook Pro model A1502 late 2013. All right, again, first you're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom, keep them in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. Uh, you just put the flat side down and the pattern you remove them, so this rectangle pattern. And to remove these screws, you need a Pentalobe 1.2 or a P5 screwdriver. All right, so I already removed all of those, so let's take the cover off, go on the back. Pull the cover up. There are some clips, so it is a little bit difficult. You do have to pop it up. Excuse me. All right, then we're gonna use a Torx 5 or T5 screwdriver. And we're going to remove the two screws here, holding this metal plate in place. Okay, remove that and remove this. <coughs> All right, once you get those two screws out, take the metal plate off. And then we don't really have to remove this whole thing, but you can if you want. You can take this side out as well, um, but we're basically gonna pop this cable up. You can hold this side down, holding using these little screw mounts, all right? And then just pop this side up, just like that. So underneath, you can see the cable here. I'm gonna do one on this side so you can kind of see how it comes out, and then you should be able to figure it out because you do the same thing on the other side. So the T5 screws, there's three holding the speaker into place. <clears throat> so the speaker is making crackly noise. If you watched my other video, the previous one, you would have seen it. And that's why we're replacing these speakers. Okay, so we got this one out. <clears throat> Just in case, so we don't accidentally pick the speakers back up, I'm gonna put a big X on these. All right, let's take the speaker out. So you just pull it up from the one side here. It rotates, then you can kind of rotate it out this way to clear this little screw mount. All right, then I get my fingernail underneath. Let me zoom in to kind of show this better. Okay, so get your fingernail underneath there, and then as close as you can to the connector, you just pop it up just like that. All right, there we go. This speaker's bad. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look in here, you'll actually see that the mesh around here is kind of cracked and that's what causes it to make the crackly sounds. You can kind of sometimes hear the clicking. Okay, so I'll set that aside. <clears throat> we got the replacement speaker. To put it back, you just do the same, um, basically the opposite. Let me zoom out a little bit, there you go. All right, so you angle it like that, get the cable underneath, okay, and then you drop that down get this connector, line it up, and then you just push that into place. There we go. Then we'll put the T5 screws back into place. I loosely fit it first to make sure I can get all three screws in, because <coughs> sometimes it's not aligned properly. There we go, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Sorry, I'm going out of view of the camera, but this repair is pretty straightforward. Okay, same thing with the other side. Um, the only difference is this cable's kind of in the way, so you have to kind of lift this up and then get underneath. This cable's longer, so if you can't really reach it, you can use like a little needle or whatever tool you got to lift that cable up out of the way. Okay, get underneath. Same thing with my fingernail. Okay, I just pop that up just like that. Once you pop that up, just peel this cable out, remove the three screws, and bingo, bango, bongo, you're done. All right, get these out. <clears throat> Last third one. There we go, lift this up. Draw an X on that as well. Make sure you don't reuse it. Okay, get the replacement one, stick that back in. Get the cables all lined up. All right, same as the other side, just get it lined up and then push it down. Just like that. Get this cable lined up, push that down. All right, oh no, I accidentally knocked one of the screws out, so let me make sure I'm gonna do this right. Shortest one is there. Okay, so. There we go, this one somehow rolled over there. All right, let's put back these screws. All 
Alright. Now that you've got all of these screws, tighten them all down. Put the cover back on. Very easy. Alright, clip the middle into place. Let's zoom out. Let's test the sound. Oh, I didn't put that little clip back. We'll do that after. Alright, so I'm going to do a SMC reset. Again, Alt, Control, um, oops. Let me actually shut this down completely first. So some people are probably wondering if you have to remove the battery. Hopefully that answered your question. <laughs> you don't have to remove the battery. You don't even have to turn off or shut down the computer to replace the speakers. Um, it's safer if you remove the battery and press and hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds, but it's not a requirement. All right. So control option shift on the left side, power button. That's to reset the SMC. If you have the charger plug in, if it's orange, it'll go to green, then back to orange. Um, and that's how you know you did it right. Now we're going to do a PRAM reset, power button, command option, P and R. And I already hear the sound is so much better. So you'll hear the chime. And then after that, the screen will go off. You can let go and you hear the chime. It's nice and clear now. So there we go. That's good. We're going to put back this little bracket. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Let me let it start up all the way so it doesn't shut off mid-boot. Okay, good. Shut this. Flip it over. Pop that off. Get the little metal bracket. Again, since I'm working on this with the um, battery still connected and it on, you do want to be extra careful. Don't drop things into the computer, of course. I mean, even if you don't, even if you did disconnect the battery, it's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want to drop stuff on your computer, of course. Okay. There we go. Put the cover back on. Clip those into place. Again, best practice, disconnect the battery if you want to be safe. If you short something out, don't blame me. <laughs> I'm doing it this way because it's faster. Alright, there we go. Get all these screws in. And that's pretty much it. You can stay till the end to watch me put back all the screws. But um, other than that, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to fix their own devices. And I will see you all in the next one. Alright. Just going to put back the rest of the screws. All right, that's all there is to it. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. Let's drop this thing. Bye.